All right, what is going on guys? Video here and welcome to Until Dawn. I've been in the mood for something a little scary lately and I've never played this game before, so I figured why not? So, let's just jump right into it. Butterfly effect. Yep. feel like I'm going to make a lot of bad choices. <laughs> Hell is that? Did you see that? Dad said it'd just be us this weekend. Josh. Oh, I can move. Okay. Uh, ooh, shiny. You look so damn hot in that shirt, but I bet you're even better out of it. Oh, great. How romantic. <laughs> Naive sister, get herself into now. Ugh. Intervention time. Okay. Uh, what's over here? Oh, is it just the same thing? Never mind. <clears throat> All right. Jeez, Josh. <laughs> Once again, brother, you've outdone us all. Oh. I got your note. Glad you can make it. Maybe we should start with a little, you know, making out and see where it goes from there.
here. Oh. Hannah. I'm sorry, Hannah. Hannah. Hey, this all got out of hand, Just but... a stupid prank. Uh. Oh. Hey. You guys are jerks. You know that? Hannah. Oh fuck. Uh, he's drunk off his ass, so let's just go with the others. Guys, there's someone outside. What the hell? Hannah! What's going on? Where's my sister going? <sighs> it's fine. She just can't take a joke. It was just a prank, Han. What did you do? We just messed around, Beth. It wasn't serious. You jerks! Hannah! After her? You know, I kind of think you're the last person she wants to see right now, Mike. Crack buttons oh, before time runs out. Okay. Ooh, okay. I'm feeling lucky. Footprints. Hey, buddy. Hey, fuck. fuck. Shit. Damn it, Hannah. Where are you? What the heck is that? Oh! Damn! Okay. Death totem. Fun. Oh, that looks interesting. Oh, 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 
<laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, fuck it. Okay. Great. Before we begin, there are a few things I need to make sure you understand. You see, no one can change what happened last year. The past is beyond our control. You have to accept this in order to move forward. But there is freedom in this revelation. Everything you do, every decision you make from now on will open doors to the future. I want you to remember this. I want you to remember this as you play your game. Every single choice will affect your fate and the fate of those around you. Fair enough. Well, hi. So, you have committed to commence with this game. This is and I want to help you see it through. Sometimes, sometimes these things can be a little scary, even terrifying, but I'm here to make sure that no matter how upsetting things may get, you will always find a way to work through it. Hmm? All right. We will start with a simple exercise. Great. Fun. Can you please pick up a card? No. And I want you to look at the picture on the other side and tell me what you feel about it. it. It is essential that you answer honestly in order to get the most out of this experience. Mm-hmm. Okay, that's, uh... Scarecrow's giving me a funny so, feeling. Did that picture make you feel? Remember, be honest. Yeah, fuck that scarecrow. Okay, honesty is good. What do you think it is that makes you feel uneasy? The, the, yep. Well, I see. I see. Let's see. The scarecrow were not there. Would you feel comfortable staying there on your own for a period of time? Say a week, for example. Man, looks pretty fine. Sure, why not? Huh. And what if I told you that this cottage was haunted? Oh, yeah. Shoot. More the merrier. So Scarecrow frightens you, and yet you don't appear to be bothered by the possibility of the supernatural. I suspect that someone is not being entirely honest with me. Our time's up. Buddy. Let's investigate that in our next session, shall we? This guy. I thought he was going to fucking kiss me there for a second. Jeez. And that was just the intro. All right, cool.
Today is the one year anniversary of the dreadful tragedy that took place on Mount Washington. Annie Klein was in charge of the investigation. Thanks for having me, Marty. This is an update on Hannah and Beth Washington, the twins who are still missing. One year ago tonight, the Washington girls left the safety of their parents' lodge and headed out into a snowstorm. Foul play. Not officially, no. There is one individual we're considering as a person of interest, but his whereabouts are currently unknown. He has an interesting history with the Washington family. He had warned them against pursuing their construction project and claimed the land was sacred to his forefathers. You know, there is still the old sanatorium on the mountain. Could he be hiding there? My officers did search the grounds, but the girls themselves couldn't have made it that far. Something about that mountain seems to breed tragic events. More than you know, Marty. Well, thank you for joining us, Anthony. With all the Washingtons tonight, their son Josh, on this, the anniversary of the mysterious disappearance of Hannah and Beth Washington. Well, hello, friends and fans. All right, let's do that again. All right. Well, hello, friends and fans. It's beyond awesome to have you guys all back this year. Um, first off, I got to say, I am super excited to welcome all my pals back to the annual Blackwood Winter Getaway. <laughs> so um, let me just let you know, uh, let's take a moment to address the elephant in the room for a second. I know you're all probably worried about me, and I know it's going to be tough on all of us going back after what happened last year. but. I just want you all to know, um, it means, it means so much to me that we're doing this. And that uh, I know it would mean so much to Hannah and Beth that we're, we're all still here together, you know, thinking of them. I really want to spend some quality time with e each and every one of you and um, just share some moments that we'll never forget for for the sake of my sisters and, you know. Okay, so let's party like we're fucking porn stars, okay? Make this one trip we will never forget, all right? Yes! Jeez, all right. Sam, Hannah's best friend. Diligent, considerate, and adventurous. Cool. Cool, cool. Hello? Someone there? No. Supposed to climb over parkour, parkour, parkour. And sure.
not creepy at all. Aww. Ooh, squirrel. Hello, fella. You hungry? Huh? Oh, shit. Mm. <laughs> squirrel whisperer. Oh, well, look at that. Cool. Relationship, character traits. Clues? Okay, alright. Head to the cable car station. Gotcha. Indigenous people and butterfly prophecies. Tribes who once lived in these mountains believe that butterflies carried dreams and prophecies of possible futures. The color of the butterfly indicated the nature of the prophecy. So, black butterflies mean death. Red is for danger. Brown is for loss. Yellow for guidance. And white for fortune. Hmm. No way. As you explore, discover totem artifacts. Picking a totem up and turning it will reveal the colored butterfly and premonition of a possible... I missed the last word. <clears throat> Is that the yellow? Okay, interesting. Damn, look at that view. Wow, graffiti all the way up here. The past is beyond our control. Interesting, very interesting. Let's just be nice. Maybe I shouldn't pull out Chris's stuff. Chris? Sam, hey, you made it. Chris has a crush on Ashley. Methodical, protective, and humorous. Okay. Oh, so I found something kind of amazing. What? I'm not going to tell you. You got to see for yourself. Come on, it's this way. Where? Right around here. It's gonna blow your mind. What is this? Wanted. Look at this. Victor Milgram. Nice. Hmm. You think we'll get a visit from America's Most Wanted? Looks like someone thought so. Oh, come on. This place is abandoned most of the year. Nobody comes up here. Right. Clues. Let's just take a look real quick. Want a poster? Hmm. Uh, in connection with the first degree arson offense, as well as various death threats. Haha. -ha. Okay. All right. comes to mind why is this even here what do you mean w what the hell is a shooting range doing at the base of the ski lodge uh dude have you ever met josh's dad 
Yeah. He uses like Grizzly Adams or something. Wanna try? Uh, no, you go ahead, Grizzly. <laughs> All right. Here goes. Okay. Wow, nice shoot the text. All right, I'm bad. I'm a badass. I'm gonna go ahead and guess it was a wild case of beginner's luck. No, nah, I don't think so, girl. Well, anybody and their brother could shoot a bottle that big, that close. Squirrel. Oh, I am not shooting the squirrel. Mm -mm. <laughs> nice shot. Your ass just got sacked. <sighs> hey, sharpshooter, a ride's coming. Wait, I'm just getting the hang of this. Come on, Chris, the cable car. Definitely weird coming back up here after a whole year. Yeah, I swear the moment I got here, it just. Oh. Hey, that's weird. Door's locked. Yeah. Uh, Josh wanted us to keep it locked to keep people out. He said that? What people? I, I don't know. He said they found people sleeping in the station one time. It's creepy. was closer. Guess we gotta wait. I'm trying to get the appeal of killing time at the shooting range. How long is this gonna take? It's a big mountain. Yeah. It's so beautiful in the day, but at night just feels menacing, like sleeping giant. You gonna publish? What? Your pretty poem. The Sleeping Giant of Blackwood Forest. Oh, shut up. Crazy place to set up house. Hmm. No matter how rich you are. Not so rich. Is that a bathtub? What the? All right. Stay here and catch some disease, but okay. I'm just like going to the prom. Here we go. Right, adventure begins. Oh, I hope this was the right thing to do. What? You know, getting everyone together on the anniversary. I mean, Josh seemed really pumped about us all doing something, didn't he? Yeah, no, he definitely did. I haven't seen him so excited about something in forever. Good, good. It's hard to tell with him, and I, I know, I've kind of been worried. No, no, it was, it was a good idea. I hope everyone else feels the same way. We're all here, aren't we? Thanks, bro. Good talk. <laughs> you know what? Let's just, let's just stop talking about what happened and enjoy the trip. Uh, you know what, you're right. 
You know how Josh and I met? No. Third grade. Josh sat in the back of the room, I sat in the front. We didn't even know each other existed. But the kid sitting next to Josh started strap snapping the training bra on the girl in front of him. So the teacher made him move to the front, where I was sitting. Okay, so? So I got moved to the back. And? And next to Josh. That's how we met. I mean, and became friends to this day. A match made in heaven. If it weren't for the fact that Jeannie Simmons hit puberty like three years early, and on that day decided to wear a low-cut shirt that showed off her training bra, I mean, who knows? You could be riding in this cable car alone. Right now. Or, or talking to some other person entirely. Boom. Butterfly effect. Stuff like that's weird to think about. <laughs> Scary to think about. Psh. Jess, Mike's new girlfriend. Confident, trusting, and irreverent. Interesting. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. New people. Time to meet and greet. What the hell? Jess, hey! Jessica, over here! Uh, are you guys having a really weird stroke? We're stuck in this stupid thing. Can you please let us out? Pretty please? Oh my god. I thought we were goners. Another ten minutes in there and I would have chewed off my own leg. Oh, sick Chris. Look, I got a lot of meat on my bones. This is all muscle down here. Yeah, right. Uh-huh. Hey! <laughs> well, 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 what do we have Chris. here? Chris! My goodness! Seems that someone has a little crush on our good friend and dear class president, Michael Monroe. Chris. And what kind of sizzling erotica might our Jessica be capable of imagining? I wonder. Uh... Uh-huh. Mike and M split. We're together. Whoa. Drama. Not really. Pretty clear-cut, actually. M's out, I'm in. Huh. All right, all right, let's just get up to the lodge already. It's getting tired of all this nature and junk. Uh, you guys go ahead. I'm just gonna wait here for a bit. See who else is coming. You mean Mike? What? I mean, you know, whoever. Uh-huh. Sam? <sighs> Did you see this view? I mean, holy cow. Sometimes I forget to just stop and take it all in. Seriously, couldn't they have built the lodge, like, right where the cable car ends? Emily, Mike's ex. Intelligent, resourceful, and persuasive. I don't think it would have been, like, as pretty. Matt, Emily's new boyfriend. Motivated, ambitious, and active. You know. And where's the bellboy when you need one? Oh boy, is that some rich thing I don't understand? Getting chills. We're almost there. No, I mean, getting kind of creeped out. Oh, yeah. It's gonna be weird seeing everyone up here again. Definitely not gonna feel like a regular party. I mean, what do you think? Ah! Jesus! Okay. <laughs> Mike, Emily's ex. Intelligent, driven, persuasive. You guys. Michael! You really, really should have seen your faces right there. Dude, I almost clocked you just now. <laughs> nice one. Michael, you're a jerk. Come on. Guys, we're all friends here, right? No need for violence, just a little harmless fun. We're up in the woods, it's spooky. Come on, let's get into the spirit of things. The spirit of things? Seriously, what's wrong with you? I'm just trying to lighten the mood, Em. Don't be like that. Like what? The way you're being. You always get like this. Uh, let's be cool. Michael, 
I'm just gonna lay it out, otherwise this whole weekend's gonna suck ass for everyone. Um, this is super awkward, and we all know it. Let's just uh, acknowledge it now and move on, okay? Matt. I hear you, man. I get it. I don't want to make this weird. Cool. So we're good? All good. You guys gonna make out now? Oh my god, totally. We're so gonna make out. What the fuck? Uh, no. Seriously, I'm gonna go check on the cable car back down the trip. All right. See you, man. See ya. All right. See ya. Oh, crap. What? Hey, could you take these the rest of the way? The bags? Yeah, just all the bags. Uh, why? I need to go find Sam. Okay. Sorry, I just, I really need to go find her. I totally forgot I needed to talk to her before we get all the way up there. This really can't wait. We're almost there. It's important, Matt, please. I mean, all right, do your thing. All right, fine. If it's so important, I guess I can pack horse it the rest of the way. But you owe me one. Excuse me? Well, the more even, at least. I'll think about it. Just be careful. See you up there, sweetie. Thank you. Okay. Ashley has a crush on Chris. Okay. Academic, inquisitive, fourth rate. Whoa, hello. Somebody's getting a little friendly. And not in the friend zone kind of way. Well, she had to check the expiration date on their big breakup. <laughs> hey, whoa. <sighs> Sorry there. Sorry about that, Ash. I didn't mean to scare Jeez you. Louise, well, what? I did mean to scare you, sort of scare you, but not like for real oh scare you. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Hey, well, man, I'm not really sorry, Ash. Damn. It's okay. It's fine. It's fine. What are you looking at? See anything juicy with that thing? Uh, it... let me check it out. I don't... Uh,. I'm not gonna try and start anything. Yep, yeah, it's kind of busted. It's not. It's not like really interesting. It's just what? <laughs> For real? I, I bet I could find like a cool bear chowing down on a fox or something. Yeah. Uh, no, really, Matt. It's not worth straining your eyes. I'm getting kind of a headache just from looking through it. So just no, no. All right. Uh, sure. If you say so. to Jessica, right? Um, okay. Oh, you did not just do that. Put your hands where I can see them. We've got you surrounded. The hell am I to retaliate? What choice do I, a supple young rebel girl, have but to surrender to the strapping military guard come to take me into custody? Uh,
All right, all right. My, my. So are we calling it my favor, then? You're a worthy opponent, Miss Jessica the Snowball Queen. Okay, that sounds vaguely dirty. My lady. <laughs> ah! Oh, ho, ho. Okay. Okay, you're really gonna get it. What am I gonna get? Well, I can think of at least one thing. Yeah. But you'll have to wait until later. We should get up to the lodge. Yeah. It's so nice out here, though. Pretty breathtaking. I mean, I could stay out here for pretty much ever, provided I was making out with you the whole time. Just making out? Quote, unquote. Well, oh, damn. I think we might freeze to death somewhere in between those quotes. Yeah. Okay. Who's that? Oh shit. Hello again. And how are we feeling? Mm hmm. I believe that in our last session, you were not completely honest with me. Bruh. I'm an expert with years of experience. You don't think. This time, we're going to try to understand the root of your anxiety. Now pick up that book, turn the pages. You will see a set of pictures and symbols. I want you to identify which image in each set makes you the most anxious. Great. Don't judge me. Uh, crowds, definitely. Ooh, in this case, heights. Ooh, snakes. I mean, they're cool, but... Uh, <laughs> uh, knives, definitely. Them, them stabby boys. Ugh. In cockroaches or, I mean, eh. I don't know. Still snakes though. Just thinking about them and their fangs is like ah, makes me hurt. Ooh, clowns. I usually don't mind gore, but crows are cool. So, yeah. Oh, Jesus. Did I startle you? So sorry. Dick. You're doing very well. Uh huh. Don't be nervous. Watching you. Buddy. Try to speed up. The more you rely on your instincts, the more honest your answers will be, and the more enlightening you will find this experience. Great, that's exactly what I want. <laughs> no, get off screen. Get, get it, get it, get it, get it. Uh, needles. Definitely needles. Turn the page. Zombies. Between the two zombies. Yeah. Oh, I love dogs. Oh, well, pff, storms just give me a reason to stay inside. Plus, they just look cool. This is very interesting. Thank you for answering so. <laughs> Spiders, zombies, and needles. <laughs> the 
Some combination sounds like a good Friday night. Whatever floats your boat, bro. Oh, well, I'm afraid. Once again, we're out of time, but I promise we'll talk again very soon. Looking forward to it. No. how we met. Boom. It's a butterfly effect. Man, I feel like this mountain gets bigger every time I climb it. Oh yeah? It feels the same to me. Josh, Hannah and Beth's brother. Complex, thoughtful, and loving. Come on, cool. you grew up here. It probably feels like it's shrinking. I guess that's true. When are you going to install some cell towers up here? I'm getting withdrawals already. You got a spare million lying around, and I'll fix you right up. Funny you should say that. I, I think I left it in my other jacket. Oops. Hey, gang. You guys get up here okay? <sighs> Could have done with some bellboys, but uh, hey, can't get everything. Yeah, it was pretty easy. A little creepy, though. I mean, it's really weird being back here. Yo, 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 we get things moving up here or what? Yeah, man. Yeah, let's check up on him. Hey, you doing all right? I mean, I know it must be really tough without your sister. Stop. I just meant that. No, I know what you meant. You know, seriously, I'm over it. And I just I want us to have a good time, you know? Like we always used to. Fair enough. Damn it. It's a freaking thing. It's iced. What else? Maybe there's another way in. There are a million ways in. They're just all locked. There's gotta be like a window around the corner we can get, like, get open or something. Wait a second. Are you saying we should break in? <laughs> I don't think it's technically breaking in if you own the place, right? Hey, not if I don't report you. Um, <laughs> lead the way, coaches. Hi, Chris. Yeah, sure. So, how are you doing? Good, but a little cold. I think I could use some time curled up by the fire. Yeah, that does sound pretty nice. Short and sweet. Cool. Ashley was looking pretty hot today, right? She's like a sleeper hit kind of gal, you know? And I just want to rip that parka right off of her and make some snow angels, right? Damn. Um. Uh, yeah. <laughs> no. Absolutely. When are you going to take her to the bone zone? I could ever happen. Come on, man. She practically spends her entire life with you as it is. Well, yeah, but we're like friends. Listen, dude, look around you. Look at these beautiful mountains. Do you see any parents? I mean, can you imagine a more perfect, ripe scenario just dripping with erotic possibilities? You and Ashley alone at last. You've laid all the groundwork. You've been a perfect gentleman. Now, you come in 
for the kill. Yeah, makes sense. Maybe you're right. You're a hunter, bro. No fear, no mercy. I mean, she won't even know what hit her. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, I got it. Jeez. So, how are we planning on breaking into my parents' lodge, bud? I didn't say I had a plan. You sounded like you had a plan. You better deliver, Kojis, or else you got four lovely ladies who are going to be freezing their buns off. And last time I checked, that's not a good way to get laid. Oh, shoot. Nobody likes cold buns. Is that? Oh, it's missing. Perfect. this damn I'm getting pretty low on juice here uh, I just didn't turn off my GPS well 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 we got ourselves a thinker nice one One clutch. Oh, I'm okay. Should have paid more attention in climbing class. You mean Jim? <laughs> yeah, you know, with the climbing up the rope. Whoa. Great. Did I do that? I, I don't think so. Here, use this. Whoa, Chris, I just got an awesome idea. Yeah? Totally. What, what is it? Okay, so I'm pretty sure that I've got some deodorant in one of the bathrooms. You could use that with the lighter. I, I don't follow. How's, it, how's a stick of deodorant gonna help? Spray on, it's a can. Oh, yeah, now I gotcha. Flamethrower. Just like we did with the Lori dudes. Yep, ones we melted. Just point the spray can in the lighter and whoosh. Bye-bye frozen lock. Bingo. All right, so you got this. I'm gonna go sort something out. You up for hunting around in the dark for a little bit? Nope, but I'll do it. Godspeed, Pilgrim. What's... How is it another totem? Hi, out. Oh. Lovely. Uh, what's in here? Oh, shiny. Ex janitor convicted for arson. All right. Anything else? No. Okay. Okay. here oh. hi Chris very funny oh how'd you know it was me shouldn't you be like getting the lock open or something on it
Oke, oke. Here. <laughs> Ready for the senior prom. Do anything, I swear. Okay, good. Not the word I used. Oh my gosh, it's so good to be inside. Even if it's still kind of freezing in here. I'll get a fire to go. This place barely looks any different. Yeah, nobody's been up here. Even with all the police coming in and out? N not a lot of action up here lately. Nope. What's up, party people? Hi. Hey. Hey. Hey, man. Make yourself at home, bro. We'll do. That is so gross. <laughs> Are you trying to swallow his face whole? Damn. I mean, seriously, can she be any more obvious? No one wants in on your territory, honey. Excuse me? Did you say something? Oh, did you not hear me? Was your sluttiness too loud? Sounds like someone's bitter she didn't make the cut. Yeah, it's all a big cattle call with that dream boat. Congrats, you're top cow. Cuts real deep calling this homecoming a cow. Uh... Just, uh, keep it cool. No, shut up, Matt. Stay out of it, you dumb oaf. Hey, watch it. Oh, you're the only one who can put him down? No one else can play with your toys? You're such a bitch. Whatever. I don't give a crap what you think. At least I can think. 4.0, bitch. Honor roll. Suck on that when you're trying to sleep your way into a job. Who needs grades when you've got all the natural advantages you can handle? Oh, please. You couldn't buy a moldy loaf of bread with your skanky ass. <laughs> Are you serious? You... Think that's insulting? That bitch is on crack or something. Just, uh, just, just, yeah. Emily, stop. This is out of hand. And there's no reason to fight like this. Yeah, Em. Why are you picking fights over your ex boyfriend, huh? Stop it! This is not why we came up here. This is not helping. It's not what I wanted. If we can't get along for 10 minutes, then maybe we need a little bit of a break, right? Mike, why don't you check out the guest cabin, the one I told you about? Yeah. Yeah, all right. Want to go do that? Any place without that whore. It, it's right up the trail. <sighs> what 
Well, that's over. Yeah. So, Josh, uh, should we get this fire going? Where's my bag? Huh? My bag, the, the little bag with the pink pattern, the one I got on Rodeo. Matt, are you, are you listening? Oh my god, don't you remember? Next to the Italian shoe place where I got the stilettos and you knocked over the rack while you were drooling all over that girl at the counter? Well, I mean, she was asking about my letter jacket. Right, because she gave a shit about your designer letter jacket. Why do you hate my jacket? Matt, I need my bag. Oh my god, Em, you, maybe you just forgot it. Do you seriously think I'd forget my bag? Well, do I... Do you? Guess not. You must have left it down by the cable car station. Come on, hon. We'll be back soon. And then we can get warm? We can get very warm. Okay. Okay, let's go. Okay, I'm gonna go take a bath. <laughs> Works for me. Oh, burr. How far is this cabin anyway? This cabin is the coziest, most romantic love den you will ever lay your eyes upon. <laughs> if we ever make it. I have a feeling luck's on our side. Play your cards right and maybe you will get lucky. Hey, porn stars. You're gonna need these. Porn star? I pay to see you. Uh, gross. Hey, I'm sorry to kick you out like that. No worries, man. Oh, I'm sure you'll find a way to entertain yourselves. Mm-hmm. You have fun with the peanut gallery. <sighs> oh, I almost forgot. Gotta fire up the generator so you can see where you're going. It's dark out there. All right. Roger that. Perfect. I think Josh was flirting with me. Okay. You want to invite him up with us? Wait, really? What? No. <laughs> Alright guys, well I think I'm going to leave this one here. If you liked the video, go ahead and leave a like. Go ahead and drop a comment. And I'll see you all in the next video. Peace.